Hello, and we are back. Right, I'm not messing around today. I want Beniatite. So we're going straight on in if we can, uh, which we should be able to do nice and easily. No messing around. We are going to dig. What do we need? 39 copper, 12 bones, ooh, two bricks, and some seagrass, which actually is going to require us to leave because we've never harvested any. And I went to look for some earlier for the turtles, um, and I never actually grabbed any. Uh, we should sleep. Damn it, I was hoping just to jump right in. Well, it would, would take a second. We'll get the stuff. we get the stuff indeed. And then we're going to run in. We might even try and speed do two volts. The problem with doing two volts for these videos is it works great for the uncut versions, but it makes my my world hell for the cut versions because I have to um, I have to try and pick and choose what's good content and what's bad content. And I think all of it's good content. Is that what we need? Yeah, that is what we need. Seagrass. All right. You can't silk touch this though. This has to be sheared, which is interesting. Um, I didn't realise that. But we can come here and just quickly do this. Get a load of it. There we go. Uh, swap over to dash. I don't actually think we have our uh, thing equipped. No, we don't. Oh, Christ. That was a crunch. Um, <laughs> eat, some, eat some chicken. What are we going to do just for the sake of while we're here? We're going to chuck these onto the turtles. Um, what else do we need? Uh, bones, bricks, copper. Got it. So, bones. Bricks is going to be an interesting one. We do have clay, though, and I think we needed two. So let's do that for a second. Uh, you know what? For speed. We'll just do that. Uh, we'll put that away into here, and then we need quapper. Quapper. Uh, that should be enough, I think. Yeah, okay. So while that cooks, let's chuck the rest of this on. Uh, one, two, three. Grab those bits back. Chuck them in. We need to start getting some more bones in, I think. We're going to start running a little low. Um, it's a mob drop, and we've almost done this. That's four. Almost done this. That's four. Lovely. Make two bricks, and that should be us ready to just go straight in. Oh, more copper. Shoot. Shooty, shooty, shoot. Twelve more copper. That's two more blocks. Luckily with fortune, we actually, we make a lot of copper because you fortune the ore and then cook it. So we're not, we're not too bad off on copper. Um, let's chuck this away. Let's chuck this away. Do one last check. We've got all our armor on. We've got our shield on. We've got our silk touch. That, 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 that. I think we are ready to go. Bang that bun. Gimme, 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 gimme. We are, we are solely here for Beniatite. I'm not, part of me almost thinks like, I'm not even that worried about completing the vault, which sounds crazy. Ooh, we've got a buff. I see a buff in the corner. Gather elixir. Oh, this is a, um, okay, so this is a different type of vault that we've not done before because, oh, because you start doing them from level 10. Okay, so you see at the top there's a bar. It says gather elixir from loot, ores, and mobs. So you'll get little purple bubbles um, from doing certain challenges, basically. So if I kill things, I'll get the little elixir bubbles. If I loot things, I'll get the little elixir bubbles, uh, and so forth. Thing is, to complete this vault, though, you don't exit once you're done. You actually... Um, you, you have to find a uh, small little, uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, it's like a thing. I hear them. Oh, there you go. Purple dots is the uh, elixir, basically. It doesn't directly 
mean that it's elliptical? Where did the rest of those go? Some guys spawned. I don't know. Um, but we need to run round, basically. Which is great for us, because actually we just want to do mining. Uh, and I already see a place to do some mining. Up there. Let's just... Straight beneath it. Ah, ah, ah. Terrified me, that. Let's go straight up. Cool. And we're just going to dig away all of this. Uh... Hello? Oh, there is a, a spawner up here. There you go. Gone. Benny a tight. That is what we want. Yes, give me all of the Benny a tight. And the Layamar. Lovely, we've completed the bounty because it was to dig a certain amount of Layamar. Done. Perfect. Um, we'll go slowly down. Okay, I hear a lot of people. We do have to try and, if we want to complete this vault, um, do those objectives fairly quickly. Um, but I think maybe I'll get a lot of experience from looting rather than killing, it seems. Because you'll, you'll get more experience based on certain things. Um, but that's fine. Let's keep running. We do need to still mark the way out, though. Because if we don't mark the way out, if we get to, say, like, two minutes and we still don't have all of the stuff done, we can not uh, we we can still escape through there, but it will be a failed... Uh, be a failed vault, basically. So, it'd be good if we can find a nice way down. Um... Nice way down. This is going to be a nice way down. This is a nice way down. Okay. We're just hunting for digging. Digging. Lovely. Oh, I see a creeper. We need to make sure that we kill that at a bare minimum. Let's equip our healing. Oh, more digging. This is a good room for digging. We might actually get our knowledge shard. Which could mean we can start to do some better stuff in the base. And we're doing alright on Elixir. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We need to get the spawner that's in here. There is a spawner in here. There has to be. Oh, we're not bloody... Where's the spawner? Oh god. I don't see the spawner. Um, shoot. Where's the spawner? Give me spawner. We got loads of ores down here though. Um, well, we should actually heal, continue mining. There has to be a spawner down here. We're just not finding it. I'm seeing really good ores, I just don't have the time to focus right now on them. Um, like, we're getting tons of Beniatite. I think that was a black opal that we, we saw, or that is, which is a super rare ore. Um, not seeing a spawner down here, though, <laughs> which is mad. <laughs> we just dug this whole thing up for nothing, um, which is fine, I guess. No issue. There definitely should have been a spawner here, though, right? Okay. Well, no harm. Uh, we know there's more digging to be done over here. Did we mark this? Oh, well, we're downstairs now, so... If we didn't, we didn't. We're halfway, though, on our thing. Oh, there's another dig here. Perfect. That sounded like a fizzle. Uh, get digging. Look at all this Beniatite. With our fortune at home, we should be looking pretty. All the digs. I'm so glad we just decided to just jump into this. Rather than, like, faff around at the start of this episode. <laughs> like I normally do. We're just, like, generic, just sort of running around doing little bits that need doing. Okay, cool. That's another dig done. 
Look at our inventory. My god. There's another one in here. Can we break it in time? I see a Beniotite next to us. Even better. Love this. For us. More Beniotite. Man, if we had that bloody dig Beniotite quest right now, we'd be doing wonders. This pick's going to die, though, soon. I'm sure of it. Um, we need to make sure that we are picking up everything. Um, so let's just start to put away some of the stone itself, keeping the ores out for now. Um, just want to make sure that we're, we're definitely picking up ores, obviously. Um, okay, right. There was another one there, wasn't there? We did that, we did that. Was it over here? No. I'm sure we saw another one down here. Maybe maybe those were the two we saw, though. Um, either way, very profitable. Very profitable indeed. Is there anything behind here? No, I just wonder why there was a wooden square there. Okay, I think this, this room's done. We still need to find an exit as well. Ooh, that was a bit, a bit of a drop. Um, cool, okay. Let's go upstairs. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the exits look like. I have not fully seen them. Um, take that just for the sake of doing it. Uh, we move on. How much Benny Tech? Six. Okay, so we're definitely making a knowledge start this episode. And then unlocking storage drawers, which will be good. I think that's the best thing we can unlock to start with, because it will start to organise us a little bit. Let's go upstairs first. Uh, okay, that's not an exit thing. This is another dig site. This is so good for digging. That's a fizzle spawner, so we're okay. Just let it fizzle out. I heard it already fizzle anyway. Perfect. Swap to mining and just blitz it. Getting so many of the rare ores. It's great. Ashium. A bit more Leomar. Leomar I know we're going to need for building the um, building the what are they called? Bloody um Forgotten the name off the top of my head. Drawers, and that's it. This one looks pretty healthy here. Perfect. Swap to that. Yeah, that's fine. And we're digging. We are off to the races. We might even get enough for more than one knowledge star if we're really lucky with our fortune as well. Oh my god, this is going to be a marathon of breaking <laughs> I don't think we're going to get through two um, two vaults at the end of this I'd like to finish this vault though because it'll be our first um, elixir vault done which would be nice we've got to mine everything you never know what hidden gems could be around Alexa's speaking in the background I'm sorry she's invaded nothing, cancel, no reminders Remind me to suck one. That's right. Well, not not me to <laughs> you two. Christ, it's gone horribly wrong. I've managed to do myself in against a, a robot. <laughs> Fizzle spawner again, and it's another dig. You healing down there? Are you little healy boy? Oh yes. Give me. We might even be able to make a pog at the end of this, which would be nuts with the... Huh. Okay. We just dug down a little bit. I think levelling up the dig speed was... While it's not extra looting, I think it was definitely worth it. We wouldn't have made it through this many digs this quickly um, without it. See, we're not picking up stuff now. We need to make sure we are constantly picking up things. Um, okay, right. 
run around, make sure we grab everything. A little bit dark here. Would have been nicer maybe if we had a little bit of light. Um, but that's fine. It mostly seems to be um, vault stone that we haven't picked up anyway, which is good. Uh, I'd like to make sure that the other two digs that we've done over here are the same thing, like we haven't left anything important. No, it doesn't look like it. Cool. Let's go back down. We still need to find an exit. We've got 13 minutes to find an exit and finish this vault, which we're looking good to finish, I think. It looks like a some sort of like black monolith, though, I think, still, the exits. Um, but not, not entirely sure. Let's make sure we're reselecting hearts. That's another dig site. I think... While I want to, I'd like to also find an exit. <laughs> um, oh my god, more digging. You have to be kidding me. We gotta do it. Okay, I didn't hear a fizzle spawner. Um, but there it is. There it is, 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 there it is. Nope, it's not working. Okay, it's fine. We got it though. We got it. It's fine. Yeah, we got it. Okay. We're gonna just need. There we go. We we need to find that. That's what it's called. A lodestone. There we go. We've got twelve minutes to find one. I think it's worth taking the digging. That is the rare one we need. I think. Uh, oh no, wood tonight. No. Oh, I see you. I see you up there. We could do with a magnet, is what we could do with. Just to make sure we are definitely grabbing everything, but... Come on, we gotta find a, a bloody... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's get out of here. Alexandrite. Oh, I'm greedy. I'm bloody greedy I am. Okay, right. We need to find a lodestone. I think we, I think we reprioritize for that now. Um, so let's go into the next room. So we came from that way, so we're going that way. If we, if we hit like the three minute mark, maybe we'll, we'll start to run back. Um, if we're not looking like we're going to find anything. That's why we're here. So many ores. Uh, sort. Okay, cool. Right. Back at it. Lodestone. As long as we can find one, we can then just start to do whatever we want again. Um... I heard the boys drop behind me. There we go, okay. Find me a lodestone. Anything over here? Nothing interesting. Okay. Up, maybe? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. This might have been where Observer was good. Um, but you live and learn. We got rid of it, obviously, because we prioritized other things. Oh my god. Hello. 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 Oh my god, it's getting bad. Um, bad, 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 bad. Bad, 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 we did come out of it with what we wanted, though. Um, I think we were we were struggling to find the lodestone, um, so I mean it's one of those really. A little annoyed. 
Uh, nothing useful in there. I just want to make sure we're not missing out on any of yours, no. So let's have a, a fun time breaking down these ores, shall we? So, if I put this in here for now, and we... Oh, no, 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 no. We put this on our hotbar. So we got two Alexandrite, two Ashium, ten Beniatite. Oh, that's going to do us very good. Uh, one Penzanite, one Sparkle Team, three Tubium, uh, one Painite, uh, six Wootonite. Let's come back here. Uh, Black Opal, one Echo, which is the most important one. So we're going to put this just over here separately. Uh, five of this, and then just. A sweet, holy Jesus amount of layer mark. Let's put all of this down. And we're going to get mining. I'm a little annoyed I died. I think you can tell. But look at this for a collection of ores that we collected. We're actually getting good at this game enough that we can collect that stuff now. So let's first off start one at a time. So that was two for three. Not bad. Two for th two for seven, very good. Okay, so this is what four, uh, eight, ten, right? So in that ten, we got twenty-four, which combined with the bits we've already got, sixteen times two is thirty-two. So we could actually make two knowledge stars if we have enough essence which is nuts. Okay, so on to this one. One for five on the Penzanite. Sparkle Team, one for two, not bad. Uh, three for two, Ooh, a little risky. One for one on the Painite, that's fine. How? We, oh my god, that was quite a lot. Uh, I think that was six for eight. Five for... 15. Oh, 3x some of these. This is the nuts one. I think it was like 36. So I reckon we're getting over a stack quite easily. Yeah, look at all of that. Leomar. Okay. Now this is the very important one. If we can get one of these, that's a win. We got more than one. We got three. Echo gems are so rare. Um, okay, that's real good. Uh, yes, okay. We should... We should lock and extract filtered out of all of these, I think. Make sure we've got all of the gems that we ever have. And I think we... We put these in a separate chest. I think these make sense because, so a pog is this. So you need nine different types of gems. We're definitely missing some of them, but um, basically you, you use them to make like crazy things. Uh, crafting upgrades, I don't even know what some of these things are, but like all the high end mod stuff you use them for. To make an Echo Pog, yeah, we're far off. Far, far off. Um, we could do with a chest for these. A little, little chest would be nice. Separate from everything for all of our gems. Let's put it... Ne oh, let's put it there. Let's put all of our gems in here for a second. And now let's take out these ones. Black Opal isn't unique. Because it's the ones that say a unique vault gem. So uncommon, a unique vault gem, a unique vault gem, a unique vault gem, a unique vault gem, rare, uncommon. So we've got one, two, three, four, five of them out of the... So it's yellow, light green, pink, tubium, okay, wait, so yellow, we're missing light green, uh... Where does that one go? Uh, bottom corner. 
So we don't even use the Echo Gems to make a Pog. So we've only got four out of nine, which is great, great success. Um, let's see about doing this then. So we're going to need this, we're going to need this, we're going to need this and this. I think that's everything we need. So if I come over here, we make more of these, 13. So to make a knowledge core, so to make a knowledge star, we need knowledge core. Knowledge core needs an extraordinary, which needs, yeah, okay. So we need to do one, two, three, four. We can't make two right now, so we won't do it. Then we'll do this, which makes this. And then we'll do this, which makes this. And that is actually our first um, knowledge star. And we're close to making a second. Let's make another chest, like we did at the last base, for our knowledge star progression, basically. Um, because we're quite close, but this is a big moment. One unspent knowledge point. So, we get to spend that here. There's a couple different things that we can unlock, but of course they all cost points, right? So, for example, trash cans are one, vault compasses are one, elevators and so forth. We could do with a storage of some sort, to be fair. Um, there's a lot of things in here that we can't afford. Um, yeah, I'm looking around now. Not seeing a lot we can afford, actually. Dark utilities? Okay. Pipes. Blah, 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 blah. Applied, refined, colossal chests, and simple storage or drawers. Now, I like the idea of doing drawers and then simple storage networks. Um, so let's unlock drawers. We can now make all of these things here, but they cost a fair bit to do. So for example, one drawer costs four chromatic iron and four driftwood per drawer. If we make a two by two one, oh, it's the same thing to be fair. Literally exactly the same. Okay. So, it's not the worst, but it's not the best, because we can chuck upgrades in them to try and organize ourselves. So, it is a little annoying. To make a draw controller, on the other hand, we do need a pog, and we do need some extraordinary alexandrite uh, and black chromatic, which needs the perfect opal. So, there's a, we're a long way away from the controller, but we can start to make... Um, Yeah, we can start to make, I mean these for example, it's just chromatic steel plus a perfect dark opal, which we have enough to do. Um, so we could do that now, for example. Then we need two drawers, an extraordinary, let's, let's build a, another chest towards our progress towards this, shall we? Let's do this, let's do four of you, makes a perfect uh, extraordinary one let's put you over here for a second uh, then we needed draw controller needs two perfect so that's two s oh no right that one yeah okay these convert back right yeah they do okay, that's fine. Um, so that's those so we've got those uh, we could make two drawers quite easily now. Um, I want to get this, this, this. Uh, do we not have any more? Ooh. We are running a little low on chromatic iron. We can take that though. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're running a little low. Um, because we need to make eight chromatic eye, oh well, didn't we put some on? Yeah, we cooked some up. So let's have a look quickly. So to make this, we need to make chromatic steel. To make that, we use the chromatic iron and we need four of these. And they, oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. 
you're having a little joke at you. This makes one. So we have enough to make Okay, wait, no, I think I, yeah, 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 yeah. So we need to do, so we need to make 8, 16, uh, 32 of this. We can make five, which is not even enough to make one. What's holding us back? Carbon, isn't it? Uh, recipes? comes from these two types of chests, okay. We need a lot of carbon. Because that only allows us to make six. Okay, right, well, we can put this in here, this in here. Um, don't need to put that in there for now. How much would we need of chromatic? Uh, so, four to make one and we need to make 32, so it's 32 times 4, that's, oh no, two stacks, and we have a stack and a half, okay, not great, um, we can smelt this at least, chuck that in there, um, okay, right. That's, uh, it's given me a different look on life. We are not close to doing this. Uh, what would be nice, though, is making at least one draw for all of the bloody, um... all of the bloody um, vault stone that we're getting. There we go. Oh well. Some flowers are fine. Uh, let's get our axe. Because it would be nice to at least make one draw after all of this that we've done. Um, so we've got this stuff, right? So we need chromatic that and that should be enough to make a, a draw. Should we make a a regular draw? I see, so this is how you make the varieties. Let's make a regular draw for a second. Let's put it here. And now let's take our vault stone, because we got a lot of it from doing that. Uh, and if we're gonna keep mining, it's probably gonna be necessary to have an easier place to put it, which means we can then take out Oh, we don't need the vault cobble. This is polished vault stone. How do we get that again? Uh, cooking vault cobble, oh, into polished vault stone. Vault stone in a stone cutter, I see, okay, right, well. We can leave the polished stuff then. Vault cobble, I guess we'll leave as well. Uh, polished, 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 polished. Vault co okay, so wait. None of this is vault stone. Oh, wait. Vault stone, vault stone, vault stone. Okay, well, we'll check that in there for now. We could technically... Do one of... These for then the vault cobble and polished vault stone on top. So we do vault cobble and then polished vault stone and now we can at least take the rest of this out. Uh, and at least it's a bit tidier now. Yeah, I mean, it was very expensive to do that, but it's a little better of a storage system now. Um, 
I'm not really happy with with how far off we are at everything, apparently. Um, I thought we were a little closer, if I'm brutally honest. Um, let's return some of the stuff to its boxes. Uh, that comes with me. That comes with me. That comes with me. Then we come over here and we do... Um, this goes in here, that's useful. Coconut seedling, sure. Put that in there. Um, okay, right. Well, that was a bit of a, a bit of a wacky time. Uh, I'd like to put that away for a second. Take that, take that, take that. Because I think we, we just go into another vault. Um, I can't think that we need to hang around a huge amount. We did, though, complete our chest here at least, which is good. So we can claim this. Oh, which gives us some more knowledge and some more um, chromatic iron, which is always useful. Uh, withered boots. Ooh. They might be better than ours. Five armor. So just better in general. Better in general. Plus one armor. Knockback resist and item rarity. Yeah, they are just a straight improvement, which is nice. Uh, we can also chuck this in here, which puts us one step closer to another knowledge zone. Because realistically, let's take inventory for a second. We need two to get simple storage networks. And then if I come here, simple storage. So to do this, we need a, a request table, which needs a pog. Um, Christ. And then what the hell was that noise? Hello? Okay. Um, yeah, and we need like cables, export cables, all sorts of things. It's going to be a little expensive in our future, which means we need to go vaulting. Um, uh, four of those. We need to pick another bounty. We're not doing that one, are we? So maybe let's re-roll that one for a second. Ten knowledge essence or three wild focuses. Kill husks in vault six. This might not be the worst. Um, this is quite nice, obviously. Um, Neither of them get me anything I really want. Um, but this is experience as well. Let's do that one. Um, one of these. Bing, bang, bong. Let's then chuck you on here. 17 melons. Ooh. We don't have any basalt. Leather and iron. Okay, so... Melons, I, I don't actually know if I can do either. Um, we might need to... <laughs> unfortunately, we might actually need to fly back to our previous home. Uh, because we still haven't set melons up here yet. Um, maybe this is a good sign not to, not to run this vault now. And for me to do some off-camera bits in between episodes and then come back because actually I'd like to set up some melon farms like in these little cross sections here where I haven't put anything um, and it's going to be a pain to fly all the way over there um, seven iron, four leather, yeah 
And then we need to find basalt as well, which I don't think... We will pop our head into the nether. Uh, and we need iron, Christ. Seven iron. Yeah, four leather. Uh, leather will be in this chest. Let's have a look in the nether. Uh, and then I think we'll, we'll call the episode there, because off camera I will go and have a bit of a redesign of our stuff. So if we're going into the nether, let's drop this away. Let's grab this instead. Let's put this away. Let's put these away. Let's get my um, elytra. Let's put that on. Put that away. And I think we're good to have a little wander around the nether now. Because basalt is not something we've seen, I don't think. Uh, um, so that's a... Uh, that could be basalt. But that's far from us. This is basalt. Okay. So if we put a pin here, for example... Um, create waypoint. Basalt. Uh, we should be able to go towards that. Oh, yep. Yeah. Forget about those boys for a second. Um, oh my god. It's Death City. Oh, we're gonna die here. Oh, another head though. I would also like to fight a wither. Um, to get a beacon going at our base, which would be quite nice. Part of me thinks we've got one head. We only need one more. It's so dark here. I, I kind of thank the blazers a little bit for doing their job and lighting this place up. Let's uh, risk it all and fly to the basalt. Oh, Christ. It was a big risk. It was a big risk. We need land. Okay, land is here. Yeah, basalt. That is fine. <gasps> okay. No problem at all. What's that? We'll have a look at that in a second. Uh, let's get out our vein mine and just dig up a load of this. Because we're going to need plenty of it eventually. Um, and why wait? Magnet is what I want. How do I make a... Isn't there... You can get magnets in Vault Hunters, I'm pretty sure. I thought you could. I'll have to have a look at it in between episodes, because maybe I'm wrong. Um... But I was almost sure that you got magnets. Um, dimensional shard, or that is what I thought it was. Okay, so we need to be very careful going back because uh, the height is wrong, I think. Portal, spawner, spawner, yeah, so. We need to go very high and hope that when we glide down, we are going to land somewhere par reasonable. Like here, that's fine. No problem at all. Look at us go. Little exploits. I can't see a bloody thing. It's so sunny. Again, I, I'm such a big nerd and I'm inside on a beautiful day because I'm behind on recording. <laughs> I need more content. Um, talking of that, I think we're going to swap to a little bit of a different schedule while I try and narrow down some more content. Um, I think we're going to swap to something like a, a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday schedule of just Minecraft for now while I, I knock out some more ideas for stuff. I have, I have got things in the works, though. Um, be nice if we got the 
the rest of the this last wither skeleton skull that we're looking for right now. As we come round this corner, there'll be ten wither skeletons at the end of this road. Because that is what I have predicted. Nope. But this is where our other portal is. So we can actually go uh, back and forth. Oh, there's a wither skeleton. Ooh. Um, you're hard to get to. There we go. That was not... I thought that was a skull for a second. It's going to be very mad. Um, yeah, I've got some things lined up, though, that I want to do. So, we're not, we're not super out of content. I just need to to get them filmed and stuff, but that takes time, obviously. Time that I lack sometimes. Let's have a quick look around here, because it'd be nice to fight the Wither Skeleton maybe next episode, you know? A little bit of a cheeky Wither Skeleton fight, uh, with a boss fight even. Come here, Wither Skeletons. I need your souls. Spooky. Uh, nothing. That's a shame. Do we see any? Sorry, I'm leaning in. Just to try and use my eyes better. Ugh, blinded. Such a British thing to complain about the sun. Oh, it's so nice outside. Why would we want that? Come on, one more of you boys. That's all I ask for. I'm not needy normally. There you are. Come on, boys. One of you. Drop me. Oh, and queue up even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, doesn't look like either of you were generous with your heads. There's another one up there. Could uh, go and find him. Oh, there's a couple of you. Uh, oh, actually, how do I get over there without dying? Or do I let you guys come across? Yeah, that was the plan. Okay, need to need to come down here and heal. Can't see where I am. Okay, I'm on the stairs. Okay. Ooh, I got a little bit sketchy. Oh man. Oh no, 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 heal. Heal, heal, down some stairs, down some stairs. Come on, don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die dumb. Heal, okay. I didn't realise how low our health was. <laughs> Just trying to throw us into to death. Come on, let me eat a little bit more chicken. Heal. Take one more notch off my food. There we go. Now we're good to go back up. Lovely. Oh, there we go. Not what I needed. This is another spawner up here. No, it's a giant magma cube though. Man, this fortress is big, though. You need a big boy. We could definitely make a... Like, with a skeleton spawning platform. Come down. Yes. Heal. Oh, that wasn't heal, that was dash. Heal. Come on. Uh, we've got two... You know you want to give me a third. You. You shall be the third head that I... Oh, no, 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 no. You don't get to dupe me like that. Third head? Not third head. Damn it. How long could we spend in here? Oh, many guys. Come on. It would be better if we had looting, to be fair, which we do have a villager for. 
because I think it just re-rolls the table more times. Um, yeah, maybe we come back with looting, because we're possibly wasting our time right now. How long does this go on for? Oh, it just goes on to a dead end, okay. I was like, oh my god, this is a never-ending nether fortress corridor. Because I think if you if you set up a big platform on a where there's an intersection, uh, you can get good spawns there normally. Of stuff. Oh, dodged them. But I'm not seeing anything. Okay, we'll spend a, a, another minute or so in here. If we don't find one, we don't find one. Not the end of the world. Because my eyesight's going, going, gone. I can't see a thing. I am blind. Oh, that's not the way. Almost ran off the edge there. We'll run over to the other side, and if there's nothing, we leave. <coughs> Little piglies. Oh, there's, there's a guy. Come to me, guy. Come to me. Ow. Damn it. Heal. This is just very annoying. Need to stay healed. Don't want to die in here. Okay, well let's leave. We got the basalt at least. Which is the, the main difficulty, although... I can't see well enough to land. Oh, that was really dangerous. No, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're playing with fire here. I understand that. No, no, nothing. Okay, we go, we go, we go. Uh. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We go, we go, we go, we go. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't see well enough there. I uh, I took to the skies and then realised, don't know where land is. Where is the floor? Any more for any more? No, I don't see any boys. Okay, well, we leave. Hmm. Man alive. That was a terrifying experience. Oh, I can see again. There we go. Do that. Um... But if I, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've only got one right now. Did we put it in the mob drops chest? Yeah, we did. So we've got two. Let me get another couple and we'll we'll be looking good um, for doing a wither fight. Because realistically, I either want a beacon like four in the middle here, or maybe one on each corner. But one on each corner obviously needs to go underneath the farms. Um, but that is for another day, I guess. Anything good in the shop? Not really. Um, these, again, uses, can be used to modify Vault Gear to add a new random modifier. Because we do have these boots that are missing a prefix. So maybe we, maybe we give this a go. We've not done this before. We're going to lose all our wild focuses to make three amplifying focuses. And then we put the boots in. And that should... Yes, increase damage. There you go. See, that's pretty good. Do we have anything else that's missing... Uh, something? No. Everything else is socketed, I think. Ooh. Our sword's missing something, though. Soulbound. I mean, we'll take it. Soulbound is still good. It means when I die, I'll at least come back with the sword. Um, cool. Oh, we got some some junk swords here. Love a good uh, stone sword. Definitely, I think if we compare this real quick, 
Um, it won't even compare. It's that good. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, that'll be us for today done. I will see you in the next one.